Hello and welcome to the next uh, battle. This one is another Fall of the Samurai battle, and uh, this is the one that I was originally talking about. Um, here you'll see a judicious use of hill fighting. Or, my, I, I fight on the hills and he gets shot on the hills. Um, you see there's, uh, you can see that by the elevation map, there's this little bit of flat ground and then there's this tiny hill in the middle. It's not, it's not really very large. So I deploy around here. Or no, I, yeah, no, I obviously deploy around here since I'm up here, but... So I deploy around here, and he deploys here. There's a shrine thing in the middle that I capture. Um, usually I don't have capturing all of the things. I only capture like one or two of them. So sometimes I do one or two, but usually my opponent's too aggressive for me to just carefully go around and get everything. I haven't fought a real camper yet. Um, which I would like to, just for the experience. So fourth Flavia Felix, and uh, fifth Laude, uh, which hasn't even been colored yet. And then Nakina Samurai, three units of those. I believe I just got the Nakina Samurai. So I was like, oh crap, it's gonna be another one. I don't remember watching, um, uh, what's his name, Arrow Cartridge's videos, in which he talks about um, if you're playing Fall of the Samurai, you need line of sight. So I was like, hmm, no, I can break his line of sight. Um, but anyway, I well, since he bought a Paragon, and it's a high experience Paragon, the first thing I thought was new, I was like, oh, he's just gonna camp. But he's not actually just gonna camp. He's gonna use Paragon, he's gonna shoot some people, but he's also gonna move his infantry boys. So he has, uh, one Katana Kachi. Uh, I believe that's what the, yeah. Kachi is like infantry, I guess. I don't know. Pretty sure. And then he has three Black Bear infantry, and his general's bodyguard. Uh, so my original plan is I'll run up, but then when I thought he was just gonna camp there, I decided, okay, I will send one Nagana Samurai there, one Nagana Samurai there, and one Nagana Samurai over there. Which, you know, would've been great if it worked. And then I saw that he was actually attacking, so I changed my mind. Uh, I was just going to deploy all here. And I decided to use this hill, this little hill here, um, so that I could um, shoot over it. Because, as you notice, you have to be around to have this hill to get a uh, line of sight, but I can shoot all the way over here. So I'll be taking heavy, uh, I shouldn't say fire, it's not really fire. I'll shoot fire arrows. Um, but, you're taking heavy, like, arrows. Uh, heavy quantities of arrows. I don't know. Uh, very. I was gonna say mashes, but I don't think that's a word. Like very, like high mass. Um, whatever. Shogun two. Shogun two. Okay, he's gonna be taking heavy arrow fire. Rude, correct terminology for now. Uh, but then I pull up a little bit more because I know there's still a little bit of a hill, and any hill, don't you fear for your gunfire unless if it's big enough. If it's like man size, it messes with your gunfire. These are big enough. I think I'm going to shoot back a little bit. Because I wasn't quite sure if he could shoot me from here. Or not, but if you look from his point of view, he can't even see my troops. But look, I can see his. And if I can see them, I can shoot them. And therefore I am. He lost four guys in that volley. It's not that many, but it's more than I lost in his volley. <laughs> so. And he's just going to keep taking casualties now. He's taking 11 in this unit already. And he realize he's gonna have to get closer, so he's running up now. But it's really just not—it's it's not gonna end up being enough. There's a couple lazy follies go there, but one goes in here, loses a bunch of guys, goes here soon. Yeah. Just more lost enemies. Which is not tragic. There's 30 of them now, and they still haven't gotten a single shot off yet. Uh, they're going to get a shot off, so because they're just about there. But if you'll notice, they still don't have line of sight, full line of sight. Only only like half of them do. Now most of them do. But now, half of them are dead. And now more than half of them are dead. And now even more are going to be dead. It's just they just this doesn't work out like this. So then I charge my infantry forwards, because this unit's still mostly full. Because it was just the Abashi Goshing at them. Even if they are high quality Abashi Goshi, they're not that good. So they're reloading, so I figured it'd be safe to charge my Nakana Samurai in. But obviously not. Uh, and then they get, you know, stabbed by Nakana Samurai. So we shattered all three Black Bear. Uh, so now they have their Katana Kachi and their General's Bodyguard left. And they have their Prayer Gun, but I'm not particularly concerned about that. I think I figured I'd just send my General's Bodyguard to clean that up if I can do it. So I would, I'm gonna charge their. General's bodyguard for the hope for a quick resolution to this, because if I can get their general's bodyguard, then their katana kachi is useless pretty much. But 
not quite end up working out that way. I, I engaged the Tanakachi with one of my, uh, uh, the Iron Samurai. At this point, uh, he quits, I think. So, yes, I destroyed them. So, if you can, that's how you should fight all the Samurai armies. You can't always do that, because not always convenient hills exactly where they happen to charge, and they don't always use a single line tactic, like my opponent did this time. So my advice to you if you're playing Fall of the Samurai side, which you shouldn't be, because they're worse. Um, but anyway, um, is, uh, Bring Artillery, which I've heard most people don't like for some strange reason, but Bring Artillery, or, um, do they have shotguns? Okay, sorry. I can be distracted. I can apparently get distracted really easily. Anyway, um, either bring artillery, bring some cavalry, uh, to clean out the bow units, or, uh, find a better position to attack from. Like, if he had attacked, he had, like, moved over to here, then he could have, uh, just attacked down on my troops. If he had moved here, and then he kept moving a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, he would have, would have always been in line of sight, because this is a good line of sight. This is a good line of sight. So, if you ever need to do that, just do that instead. But never do what my opponent did. Because I could just shoot him repeatedly. And he couldn't get to me. So I got way up here. I think this unit, I think my I only lost like five archers. He lost his entire army. So, my advice. I don't know how helpful my advice is. If you feel like it's helpful or not helpful, please comment. So, thanks for watching and goodbye. Fight well.